New classrooms, gyms, and cafeterias greet local students when class gets back in session. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, authorities continue searching for one or more suspects in a rash of bike thefts between Keystone and Dillon. Five bikes have been stolen from locked racks and patios in the past two weeks. They are high-end bikes, and police believe the suspect knows what to look for. Most thefts occurred at night or early in the morning. Police recommend storing your bike inside if possible or in a well-lit, well-trafficked area. If you have info on the thefts, call Summit Dispatch at 970-668-8600. It's been a busy summer for Summit School District. We know that we have some growth coming to the high school uh, with some larger class sizes that are in the elementary schools right now. That was Director of Business Services Kara Drake. The county is growing by 2% annually, and the district has spent $29 million on capital improvements this summer just to keep up, including a new gym at Summit High, 12 new classrooms at Summit Middle, and a soon-to-open cafeteria at Dillon Valley Elementary. District Superintendent Carrie Bueller. If we have a strong community, we have strong schools. If we have strong schools, we have a strong community. When class begins on Wednesday, every school also opens with updated entrances for better security. Most upgrades are ready in time for that first day of class, but larger projects will take longer. The new gym and cafeteria open by late September. Stay tuned later this week for more updates coming to the Summit School District. Summer is winding down at Green Mountain Reservoir, and local fishermen worry it might close permanently to power boats if several issues aren't addressed. This Wednesday, a Colorado Parks and Wildlife officer visits Heaney for a talk about those issues, including invasive mussels and the northern pike. Both species threaten native fish and plant life there. The talk is free beginning 1 p.m. at Heaney Fire Station Community Center this Wednesday. Over the weekend, Eagle Vale triathlete Josiah Madaw won his fourth Xterra race of the season, the Lac de Lage event in Quebec, Canada. Madaw is the defending Xterra Pan American champion and sits at third in the overall standings. His next off-road race is the Xterra Championships in Utah on September 15th. In sports, the Rockies take a day off before opening a series with the Padres tomorrow. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, several locals braved the wind and rain this Saturday at the annual Leadville 100 Trail Run, including Michael and Tracy O'Brien, Todd Schmidt, and Mark Martin Williams. Finishing first overall was Arizona Ultra Runner Bog Krar in 15 hours 51 minutes. Katie Arnold of New Mexico won the women's race and came in 11th overall. 713 runners started and fewer than 400 finished. Race 6 in the Summit Mountain Challenge Bike Series is this Wednesday, August 22nd at the Peaks Trail Time Trial from Breck to Frisco. Also Wednesday is the final race in the Vale Rec District Bike Series at the Beaver Creek Blast. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.